While things have been quieter, protesters did assemble again in front of City Hall today, and the ending might give people hope, as we see from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley live in Niagara Square. Dave. Well, good evening, Mary Alice, and that demonstration which you mentioned was held right here on the steps of City Hall. It began around 3 o'clock this afternoon with about a dozen participants, but eventually grew to about 100 strong. As you'll see in these videos we took earlier, they were overwhelmingly young adults. They were at all times peaceful, although at one point they did deface the ballards in front of City Hall, but we will note with what appeared to be chalk, not paint. As the 8 p.m. city curfew arrived, they were approached by police who joined them in taking a knee before all left without incident. Gestures like these are becoming more commonplace. We asked one of the demonstrators where he thinks we need to be going forward. If a cop can go to a black neighborhood without fear, feeling, hey, I need to be on guard, grab a gun, have my itchy trigger finger ready. If a cop can go into a black neighborhood and not have that feeling, then no, neither will the people in the neighborhood have that feeling about that cop. While the night has not been marked by unrest, at this point we did see signs of folks preparing for it. In Lackawanna, a liquor store owner was busy putting up plywood on his windows this evening, not far from a location where police were staged to respond in the event of trouble. Now, along with taking a knee with those demonstrators, the police saw earlier today, the demonstrators, we noted, also offered the cops food and refreshment. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.